Usually I come and I have a very comedic attitude. I like to enjoy pro wrestling. I like to have fun with it. But tonight it's different. Because when I was in Japan wrestling for Dragon Gate, Human Tornado maliciously broke my face and he couldn't even be professional enough to give an apology or anything. In fact, he did the opposite. He went and he made fun of me and made light that I was out for two months. I don't have health insurance. I got medical bills coming out the ass now. I have to get a job shaking a sign outside of Little Caesar's Pizza because of him, and he wants to make fun of that fact. So tonight, I came to bring the pain. This isn't a joke. This isn't me making Guitar Hero references or talking about how good of a drummer I am. Tonight, I'm going to hurt Human Tornado, and I'm hurting bad. Tornado set to put the belt on the line against Jack Evans in this match. This match is not only a world title match, this match is first and foremost a grudge match. Rick Knox being shoved out of the way by Jack Evans, a very aggressive Jack Evans, who has grabbed the title and a human tornado retreating to the, to the ringside area. Jack Evans, of course, suffered that very devastating face, facial injury at the hands of, of Human Tornado on the Wrestle Jam Tour in Dragon Gate in Japan in, uh, in conjunction with Tori, uh, next to me, not Tori, Dragon Gate. And, uh, and so, you know, I mean, Jack Evans, this is his first match back since injury, Dino Winwood, and uh, Human Tornado actually Push coming up to the stage area. Mute, mute. Human Tornado coming up to the stage area, he needed some help to put the microphone on. There's stairs in the front of the Look like an idiot the whole show. For everything. Tornado preparing to address the crowd here in Reseda. Jack Evans. Damn, Damn son. You look pretty today. Fans here in Reseda, not uh, not big fan supporters of the, the First Amendment. Nope. <laughs> Look, Jack, I know you can't be serious. I know you can't be serious. You want a rematch? You want to get down with the human tornado after what I did to your face? Yeah. Tornado, of course, breaking Jack Evans' face with that spinning kick. Well, just as you know, um, you should have worn a helmet or something because I'm about to kick your face the fuck off. <laughs> Jack Evans not wearing any facial protection, a la Rip Hamilton. Oh no, Jack Evans, boot to the Get the ring to safety! On Human Tornado, get the, get the microphone to safety! And now Jack Evans just, uh, just an all-out attack on PWG World Champion, oh. Human Tornado. Cartwheel kick, hit, catches Get the hell right out of the way! The eyes. Jack Evans coming up oh. and over the top. A kick to the face of Human Tornado as Jack Evans just hurdles himself over the top rope and now pulling Pulling Tornado back into the ring, drives him face first into the ring apron. That steel structure support around the ring. And uh, Jack oh, Evans. coming towards us. Jack Evans taking it. It's coming right oh, no, for no. us. No, Not no. the equipment. Jack Evans puts the brakes on. Oh, oh my, God. my God. That was insane. That was intense. Dino Winwood drinking straight from the pitcher, and so is Jack Evans. Get him, Jack. Dino Winwood, this is a very different Jack Evans than we're used to seeing. And this is a good oh, there. a chair to the midsection, and, and Rick Knox, I guess, will will allow it. I mean, since this is first and foremost a grudge match, Dino Winwood, Jack Evans may not be the man most deserving of a PWG World Championship title match. However, he is the man most deserving of a match with Human Tornado. And now, oh, Jack Evans up to the ring apron. Catch Tornado. Oh! oh! He kicked out the legs of Jack Evans. Jack Evans falling awkwardly on the ring apron and crashing down to the floor here at Reseda. This could go either way. 
Uh, Evans fueled by rage after what Tornado did to his face. If you can look closely, if you can see the pictures online, if you want. If you look Jack Evans up. still sporting a black eye and after those titanium plates and screws were inserted in, into his face. Well, now he's got a black guy inserting his foot into his face right now. And that's not the first time as uh, as human Tornado, of course, as we mentioned, responsible for fracturing Jack Evans' face uh, in, I think, uh, it was close to uh, six places, maybe? Yeah. Uh, after after that, that spinning uh, spinning thrust kick to the face and in, uh, in Dragon Gate over in Japan on the WrestleJam tour. And now Human Tornado firing in some right hands, some unorthodox right hands from Human Tornado as uh, he's just really concentrating his attacks on the face, the weakened face, I guess, weakened you would suppose face of Jack Evans. But Dino Winter with. Oh, he almost missed another uh, face breaker there. Uh, Tornado going for that drop kick in the corner. Drop kick by Jack Evans takes down Human Tornado. But you know what? Did the, did the plates and, the, and screws in the face of Jack Evans actually make his face stronger? I think it would be a bit of Brutus Beefcake, isn't it? Yes. A You'd smash a, a, a briefcase over it a bunch of times for no reason in a promo. Like and a, no, uh, no effect. Like like the Detroit Pistons, Grace Bill Lambeer, and Richard Hamilton, Richard Rip Hamilton, uh, wear that protective mask over their face to prevent, prevent from injury. Jack Evans, foregoing that measure, instead just does not want to have anything in between him and Human Tornado. And, and Jack Evans, will, he, he is intent on extracting his revenge. Big scoop slam there by Jack. What's he gonna go for right here? Coming off the ropes. Diving stomp. And backflip. Moon Salt Press. One, two. Two count only from senior official Rick Knox. Jack Evans, is, he has the advantage here and had pretty much had the advantage since the since the get-go in this match. Do you know what it is? Is this about how you expected things to happen? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm surprised that most of the walls are still intact and everything. I'm surprised these guys didn't go through it. Well, then again, the night's still young. Or the match, I should say. Jack Evans with the back elbow. Yes, and the, the wood paneling may be stripped off the walls here, walls here in Reseda as Jack Evans' laser sweep, swept out from under him. And Human Tornado drop kicks Jack Evans in the face, nearly knocking him out of the ring. Fans wising up right there, getting out of the way. Now, Human Tornado boot scrapes on the injured face of Jack Evans. You can see Jack Evans is in is in a world of hurt oh, here. Oh, no. As Tornado. Oh! Oh my, oh my God, diving drop kick. Dino Winwood, I would not blame Jack Evans one bit if he were to just allow his shoulders to be pinned to the mat after that drop kick. Word, I mean, if you know, he probably would have to if his face is underneath it. I, I meant after, after you know, uh, the injuries, the, the devastating injuries that he has sustained. Oh. You would not like to sustain even further. No, 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 I don't, I don't wish Jack on him. In the, in the cravat, taking a page out of Chris Hero's book, you know, what, what a this, pecker was. This is just uh, adding insult to injury, not only to Jack Evans, but also to Chris Hero. Chris Hero not here to defend himself tonight in Ireland, of all places. And so, I mean, you know, he is he is nowhere to, 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 to fight for his honor. And there we see Hugh Tornado rubbing his forearm over the, the bridge of the nose of Jack Evans, just trying to grind his bone on bone with the face of, uh, of, uh, of Jack Evans. I wonder if Jack Evans is actually wishing that he did. Uh, Sport the uh, face gear or, or the protection. This tornado seems to be going for that soft spot right there, and that soft spot is that face. You know what I love about Richard Hamilton, Dino Winwood? What? How he takes that step to the side before he shoots the free throw. It's so class, isn't it? It is. Oh, beautifully executed suplex up and over the top by Human Tornado. Two count as Jack Evans able to kick out of that. Tornado keeping the pressure on Jack Evans' face continues to stop him, and Dino Winwood. Uh, you know, when, when I was up here with Eddie Kingston, we, you know. We had mentioned that uh, uh, Jay Chung is familiar with a lot of objects flying at her face uh, <laughs> in, in many, 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 many viscous fluids. And so, do you think Jack Evans maybe consulted Jay Chung uh, for advice about uh, objects flying at your face and how to defend yourself? I hope so. Eddie Kingston and myself leaving Dino Woodwood at a, at a loss for words. Oh, balls, man. But also at a loss for words. Is, uh, is Jack Evans, who is being choked on the middle rope by Human Tornado. Oh! Human Tornado drop kicking Jack Evans in the face. And look at this. Human Tornado sliding out of the ring to slap a fan in the face. Is that Billy Budges of SoCal fan fame? No, you know who that is? That is Sex Man of YouTube fame. Oh, my God. Sex Man is in the house tonight, Dino Winwood. <laughs> He's going to review this show on YouTube later. Awesome. How's he going to get the footage? I don't he doesn't use the footage. That's the thing. It's just from his uh, from his uh, his monitor top camera, his webcam. That's the word I think of. 
side headlock applied by a uh, human tornado. A little bit of a chokehold, Rick Knox allowing it, but Jack Evans making his way back up to the vertical base, firing in those elbows to the midsection of human tornado. Now gouging the eyes of human tornado, leveling the playing field as it were. Case oh! oh my God, Jack Evans thrown down face first by human tornado. Superman, Superman slam dunk there almost. And Superman that hoe indeed. Oh! oh. Up and over the entire body of Jack Evans went Human Tornado as he dropped both legs across the throat and face of Jack Evans. I, 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 I think pretty much every move in this match is going to be going for the face, man. Now, would you say, Dino Woodward, that this is the least high-flying that Jack Evans has ever done in a professional wrestling match? I have seen him in knee, with knee injuries, severe knee injuries, in need of surgery, and he's done more high-flying than in this match. I think it's a smart move on the, on the, on the part of Jack, because can you imagine if he does his finisher and you just see a random gooey substance just flying in a circle? Landing on the mat before he does? I don't want to see that, Excalibur. Are you saying centrifugal force would obliterate the face of Jack Evans? Yeah, it's pretty nasty. You know what saying that? Not in so many words, but we all, we, all get the, we all get the image. Like watching execution footage. Not, not pretty. Faces of death, is that what you're going to say? Yeah, high school, junior high school favorite. Yeah, yeah. Along with kids, the movie. Now, Hugh and Tornado with the meaty thighs wrapped around the head and neck of Jack Evans, trying to squeeze them, not only cut off the, the blood flow to the brain of Jack Evans, but also to try to, to re-injure that face of Jack Evans, that surgically repaired face. But I mean, you know, the, the, those titanium screws in the face of Jack Evans really doing their job. Yeah, they're really doing their job. They're also doing another job of hurting so much, being just driven into the face even more of Jack Evans. Now you have to imagine a foreign, a foreign material like that drilled into your bone. Um, when, when that shifts in place, it's got to cause a lot of pain to those nerve endings in your face. I'm surprised it's probably not even uh, causing a little bit of extra cracking in the bone structure. Now, keep in mind, folks, we are not doctors. Far from I'm it. not. I play, I play that Nintendo DS game where it's a surgeon game. Cooking Mama? Yeah. Cooking Mama, yes. She's, yeah, Cooking Mama. Thank you. A lot of surgeries in broken English. And, uh, and now, uh, this is the second Nintendo uh, reference of the evening. I actually talked about the Wii with Joey Ryan. Wow. I, think, I think they owe us something. No more heroes. Let's, let's, Best game yes. ever. Uh, but uh, boot to the midsection from. Uh, we were talking about Smash Brothers. Right oh, that comes out uh, this weekend. Jo Joey Ryan said God, we should be getting paid. His, his famous character is, Woo! is Samus. But oh, Jack Evans, that boot to the side of the head staggers human tornado. Bubble, bubble. Oh, oh. coming over the top. Bub and Bob eat your heart out as you fly down from the top of stage 2 1 and crash down into the face of those ghosts with your bubbles. And. Uh, I, I wish the, the, the official theme song of Pro Gorilla would be the theme song of Bubble Bobble. Dude, that would so rock. Did you know that if you finish the game with, with one player, you get a sad ending, but if you finish the game with two players, you get the happy ending. Wow. That's like that's a good statement on life right there. And the happy ending not coming uh, at the hands of Human Tornado on Jack Evans. No, he left that in Japan. However, uh, Jack Evans fathering many illegitimate children and some legitimate children in Japan as a soul butt blocked by Human Tornado. Jack Evans lands on his feet, comes off the road. Oh, oh, there that we was see close. the thrust kick. That was close. Oh. Jack Evans with the, the front flipping drop kick takes him down shades of Jet Li. No shit. That's very Fist of the Legend or Black Mask or uh, Fong Sayuk, whatever, whatever's your Jet Li preference. Jack Evans, clearly the crowd favorite here after the months of abuse that uh, that Cuban Tornado has, has put in on, on Candice LeRae. Now Jack Evans coming off the rope. Time Space to flying Tiger drop up and over the top rope. Dino Winwood, has this match gotten serious? It just got serious. This is serious. Not satellite radio. No. Now it's doing. Howard 101. Howard 101. We should be getting corporate sponsorships left and right. <laughs> Dude, we totally uh, should. <laughs> We'd be rolling in the dough right now. Look Take at it. look at all that space at the ringside banner. That could be a, a serious satellite radio banner instead of a pro wrestling gorilla ba banner. You already bought the DVDs. DVDs. Why do we need to advertise ourselves? We gotta keep the money rolling in. We got a company to run here. That's true. Food and beverage, wrestling. Merchandise? Many, many facets of Pro Wrestling Gorilla. Much like there are many facets to this match, where, uh, you know, for the, for the majority of the opening part of this match, Jack Evans was in control, really taking the fight to Human Tornado. Human Tornado then turned the tables on Jack Evans. Now Jack Evans looking to turn the tables oh! on Human Tornado. Backflipping kick. Pele, look out below as Jack Evans comes in with that flying knee. One, two, two count only as Human Tornado able to kick out. Jack, is he signaling for it? Is he gonna go up? Yeah, he's setting him up. 
Now Jack Evans pulling him and Tornado into position. Gonna oh. check the time. What time is it? Jack Evans. He is going up to the top rope. This is a very dangerous place for him to be. He's goes through, lands on his feet. I thought he was going to try to break the leg of Human Tornado as he had a drape in front of the middle rope. Jack Evans, Human Tornado went for that spinning thrust kick, but Jack Evans is able to get his arms up and block it. It does and not stop the force. Now the, the TND, as Jack Evans floats through, goes over the top, back up into the corner, gets his feet up. Human Tornado charges in, but gets nothing but a face full of boots. Oh, no! Oh, God, ring the bell! Rock the bells! Oh! Drop them down, TND, Jack Evans has just been destroyed by Human Tornado, one, two, three, it's that is over. it, Human Tornado's first Pro Wrestling Gorilla World title defense is a successful one against Jack Evans. <laughs> Human Tornado with a successful title defense over Jack Evans, and now Jack Evans being taunted even further by Human Tornado as Tornado is just raising his arm aloft in victory after just destroying the face of Jack Evans once again. Tornado is, is victorious and now, uh, now Jack Evans is just crawling up to his feet as Human Tornado just taking pleasure in his victory over Jack Evans. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh my God. Son of a bitch. With the belt. With the belt, Human Tornado drop kicking the face of Jack Evans with the belt. Bring and that now, belt. look at this Human Tornado placing the belt around the neck of Jack Evans as he's got him in the corner, repeatedly stomping him in the face, repeatedly stomping Jack Evans. Oh, this is disgusting, Dino Widow. What I, an asshole. I, I shudder to think what damage has been done to the face of Jack Evans. What further damage has been done at the hands of Human Tornado? Just a, just a pure drop of class right there. Not one single bit of respect that runs in this guy's veins. I gotta tell you, he's human cornhole. Human tornado just gloating over Jack Evans. And now look at this jamming, jamming his fingers into the eyes of Jack Evans. And look at, just really, oh, this is disgusting. She's trying to, to further break the face. You can see fans are very, oh, very. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Human tornado. He's about to pick his teeth with the human tornado. Necro Butcher. Human Tornado taking swings at the Necro Butcher. Necro Butcher it's reverses. A oh! oh my, the, the knockout blow delivered by Necro Butcher to the face of the PWG World Champion. I see the Wu Tang Clan coming. Oh, wait, no, it's Kingston. Necro Butcher Claudio. coming to the aid of, of Human Tornado pulling the, the unconscious body of Human Tornado out of the ring. And now Necro Butcher standing over Jack Evans, protecting, uh, protecting Jack Evans. I mean, Necro Butcher is, is he wants he, that belt he's not he, letting go he is the protector of the weak and downtrodden and now Necro Butcher raising the belt aloft and this is a picture that the fans of Pro Wrestling Gorilla love to see Necro Butcher potential PWG world champion that is, question mark that would be intense it's like the ending of the blob there's a question mark right there at the end very intense and uh, Necro Butcher looks like he's got some words for uh, for uh, Eddie Kingston, Claudio Castagnoli, and more specifically, Human Tornado. After after protecting Jack Evans, Necro Butcher with the belt in his hand is uh, not ready to give it up yet. Rick Knox 